I'm Lani. And I'm Adon. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to Has TV. TV. Hey, get off that table! Stand up! today's episode with Weather by Dulce. Finally. It's not a green screen anymore, so like, finally, I'm not in the dumb basement. The so, dumb basement? Yeah, I'm not in the dumb basement. We only got, we brought you out here because you couldn't understand how a green screen works. No, because that's not how it works. So, anyways, the weather is pretty nice. It's pretty shiny. Tomorrow is going to be huge, rainy, and... That will be it for the weather. Wow, it sucks that it's gonna rain for a week. Yeah, it does. What's wrong with you? You know what? I'm gonna go get our chairs back. I'm gonna go talk to Mr. Smith. Um, I don't think you're strong enough to go by yourself. I think you should take someone stronger. I'll go. Disrespectful. <laughs> Hello? Can you find me? Can you find me? I'm here. Behind you, look. Behind you. I'm behind you. I am right behind you. I think he's dead. We need to get him something really, really difficult right now. Chris? Yeet? I want a dwarf. Oh, which one? Like Grumpy or something? Sure. Alright, Grumpy it is. Zane does not count as a dwarf. I want an actual dwarf. Fine! Chris, put Zane down! <clears throat> now after that um, unintrusive interruption, we move on to what other day was Zane. Uh, the word of the day today is tamarack. It is a strange tree with very few branches, only at the top. Uh, it's very creepy. People who have gone around this tree have noted feelings of uh, fear and panic whenever they go near it. And uh, it absorbs only the dead bodies of animals. What a scary word. Yeah, it really is. 
Now let's continue on to sports. With Devin. But before that, let's check up on Chris. <laughs> my adventure and all, but uh, I'm trying to look for a dwarf. Do you know anything about dwarfism? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, do you mind if I take like a sample of your blood or anything? Why do you need a sample of my blood? Because I have found the genome and DNA of dwarfs. In dwarfs. Well, you see, the first dwarf, I got, I got a tiny bit of his DNA, and uh, he kind of got away. Why so. Do you well, I'm just collecting DNA of a bunch of people, so... Darn it. God, darn it. I just need one sample, man. If it doesn't, if it doesn't have to be blood, can it be a skin, man? Go find the dwarf somewhere else. Fine. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Splice of Death. As you can see, I'm in a different location. That's because, in the last episode, I kept getting bits about it, and I wasn't able to bring you guys to do as I wanted to. But now, since I'm all alone, I can tell you what I was trying to say last week. So, our baseball team, we're doing okay. We're three and four. We won against George Washington and Gary Westside, back to back. In our game against George Washington, we scored seven touchdowns. The score was like seven three, I think. Yeah. In our first game with Gary Westside, we won 20-2. We were able to score 18 more touchdowns than them. And in our second game with them, we scored 16-0. We scored 16 touchdowns. 16 touchdowns. Man, that's crazy. Anyways, we took four L's. You know, it happens. Okay, it happens. We lost the game 15-1. It happens. Okay, it happens. But our next, our five next schedule games, we should win. We still win, and we hope to bring you guys to W. And but that is it for my second. Well, good luck to all these sport teams. Hopefully, you can bring us back a win. It's always nice when Chris doesn't interrupt us. Hey! Hey! I spoke too soon. Sorry! Stop! Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, but I, uh, very Stop! Stop! <laughs> this is your door. I'm not a door! Chris, what did you bring us? Uh, I brought you a door. This isn't a door. Kid. Hold up, hold up your hands if you can have It's a sixth grader! Oh. Well, what do I do then? You take you it back to his class. How am I supposed to take it back? How am I supposed to explain it? The same way you brought him here. Why? And say nothing. Okay. At least I'm not paying medical fees. And side. you are not associated with us if you get in trouble. Fine! <clears throat> to all viewers out there, I apologize for this interruption. We will continue with... The news. the news. Oh, right. We're the news anchors. <clears throat> we have a short amount of news today. First off, the Hess Theater production of the 25th annual Puntham County Spelling Bee will happen May 13th, 14th, and the 15th. Our first musical theater production ever. See the posters around Hess for more information. Secondly, we'll be hosting the Fine Arts Festival May 5th and at 6 p.m. The middle school dance April 22nd, and the Pia teacher in the face is May 20th, all in the Hass gym. And for our last piece of information and exciting news, we will be getting our chairs back. Uh, yeah, about that. So you're going to get your chairs back. In order for us to pay for the chairs, to get them back, we had to sell all the tables. So I'm going to have to take your table. Yes. Did you bring the chairs with you? No, I forgot the chairs. Uh, I'll be right back. Well, let's send everyone out into the field to see how everybody is dealing with the changes. 
So now we're gonna check up on Mr. Chambers' class after the changes. Now that they got the chairs back, no tables. We're just checking in to see how the classrooms are starting to look now that you have your chairs back. So, you know what? The, the chairs, I, I understand why the students missed them. I, I appreciate that they're back. Uh, it's kind of awkward having the tables now. Up until now, I didn't realize that most of these students had feet. It's pretty unpleasant to look at, so uh, I don't know. I understand. I get it. I get it. But yeah, no, this is, I, I don't know how to feel about this. We're going to have to talk to Dr. Regan right? about it or something. Checks out. Make sure you do that. Okay. Well, thanks for letting the second on you. Enjoy the chairs, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just move on to House Hauntings with Robert. Ooh. Mm. Hello, welcome back to House Hauntings. And today we're going to interview uh, Miss Hartz real quick. So, Miss Hartz, have you ever uh, left your classroom and it's like a mess? Yeah, every day. Okay, and then when you come back uh, the next morning, is it clean? Yeah, yeah. I figured it out. I know how it happens. How? A demon. <laughs> I'm pretty, sure I'm pretty sure that's a custodian. No, 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 no. It's a demon named Castanian. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that. Okay, honey. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Hertz, for your time. I think that's her. Let's go. She's going to herself and we can catch up real quick. Uh, look to the left. Uh, no, that's just a girl. And looks like it's just Mr. Smith. Check the room, check the room. Oh! No, it's just Chris. Hello. What about the athletic room? It's dark. We've, I've, we've seen her here before with the blind head. We're going to have to investigate this more. Well, that's all for today's episode. Hey! I found the door. What? But you don't have anyone with you. Anyway, uh, listen. I've been studying the genomes and DNA of dwarfs, right? And anyway. Anyway. While studying it, I found out something, that my entire family generation is actually, has the genome of dwarfs. So, you're a dwarf? Yeah, we're actually the tallest ones. Except for my great uncle. Whatever you say, Chris, just go. Peace. That's the end of today's episode. We hope to see you all again. <laughs>